incredible. Thank you so much, Ashley. The Biden administration now facing bipartisan pushback from lawmakers who say the White House is politicizing American retirement accounts. This after Biden's Labor Department issued a new rule allowing retirement plan managers to factor ESG climate and social issues into investment decisions for your 401k accounts. Now Congress is taking up legislation to roll back that controversial rule. GOP Congressman Andy Barr is spearheading the effort and he joins us now. Congressman, good morning. Good morning, Ansley. How are you? Good morning. Doing well. Thank you. Shouldn't we be focused when it comes to our 401ks on investing in funds where we're going to make the most money so we can retire and have more in the bank? Absolutely. Americans don't want their retirement politicized. They don't want politics as part of their retirement portfolio. They want financial performance. They want investment returns. And this is especially true given the fact that there is a 3.8 trillion dollar gap between the amount that Americans have saved for retirement and what they are estimated to need in retirement. Mm -hmm. Um, eight out of 10 Americans are concerned whether or not they're going to be able to afford a comfortable retirement. Now is not the time to put politics or climate or social justice or other political factors ahead of financial performance in 401ks and other retirement plans. Congressman, where does this go? I know you'll get the House, but the Senate, Joe Manchin's on board, but you're going to need another Democrat. And if it does pass the Senate, it goes to the president's desk and he's expected to veto it. Right. We expect um, uh, the Senate to be able to pass this bill. We're going to pass uh, this bill disapproving this Department of Labor regulation that would steer Americans into lower performance, higher fee, uh, less diversified portfolios. And, and we expect all Republicans to be in favor of the, the, the legislation today. We expect Democrats, some Democrats will also support it as well, because whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, we think most Americans don't want politics to be a factor in allocating their capital and determining whether or not they're going to have a secure retirement. So, uh, yes, we expect uh, bipartisan, bicameral support to disapprove of the Department of Labor regulation. We're going to get this uh, resolution of disapproval on the president's desk. And the president, unfortunately, has threatened to veto the bill. But putting every member of Congress on record to decide uh, for their constituents whether they're going to put their constituents' retirement security first or their own progressive political agenda ahead of their own constituents. I think that's an important effort uh, to hold America's uh, members of Congress accountable. And then ultimately, uh, we may need a new administration to reverse course on this. But I also expect a, an effort uh, in litigation uh, to, uh, to uh, invalidate uh, mm -hmm. this uh, regulation that will hurt America's retirement security. Congressman, there are a lot of states that are on board with you that are suing to end this ESG retirement plan option. Uh, give us an example of how, let's say you wanted to invest your money in oil and gas. What would happen? Well, see, this is the problem because um, according to the Department of Labor regulation, uh, many uh, of these retirement plan sponsors would be able to put workers into ESG or environmental, social and governance funds without the investor's consent, without the worker's consent. They wouldn't even necessarily know that they're invested in an underperforming portfolio. And, and here's the, the sad reality that over the last five years, if you were invested in ESG funds, uh, your returns would be 250 basis points less than if you were in broadly diversified funds. Uh, uh, you know, the track, let's say the S&P 500 index. So these are underperforming stocks. Why? Because energy has out energy stocks have outperformed the broader market over the last year significantly. And tech stocks, which are heavy in these ESG funds, they've underperformed the, the market. Uh, so uh, these are the type of non-diversified investments investments that uh, don't deliver the returns that Americans deserve and need. Okay, well, I know you're introducing this legislation today. Um, it's your money. You should be able to, to do with it as you please and not have the government tell you. Thank you so much, Congressman, for coming on. Thanks. Good to be with you. Thank you. Let's